sad to hear. UGA fans can't believe a football legend is gone. We're going one out of ten, I'll say ten. For Isaiah Blake, Vince Dooley was synonymous with Georgia football. He's so important to just Georgia, it, it, his name is almost everywhere. UGA icon led the team to a national championship in 80, and he won more games than any other coach in school history. He really just impacted everything, the football program, in a positive way. Carter Warden says Dooley showed what it meant to be a Bulldog. He led our, our team to a national championship. He's great, man. I mean, obviously, the stats and the, you know, the accolades speak for themselves. Dooley was more than just a coach with an illustrious career here in Athens. He was beloved. It's sad that he passed away but he'll never be forgotten. A great coach, very great coach, very one of the best. Just how beloved was Coach Dooley? Well, the field inside the stadium is named after him. In many ways, it is the house Dooley built. In Athens, Christopher King, Fox 5 News. Now, Dooley is Georgia's winningest football coach with 201 victories, six SEC titles, and the 1980 National Championship. Yeah, Fox 5's sports anchor Cody Chaffins takes a look at the legendary life and career of Vince Dooley. Vince Dooley, a University of Georgia legend, was not always a bulldog. Born and raised in Mobile, Alabama, Dooley played football at Auburn, and after a stint in the Marine Corps, he headed back to the Plains where he started his coaching career. But it was the decision of University of Georgia Athletic Director Joel Leaves in late 1963 that would change Dooley's life and the Bulldog Nation for the next four plus decades. Eves chose an unknown Dooley, the freshman coach at rival Auburn, to take over the head job at UGA. When you go back and start thinking about things, you think about how in the world I got here in the first place. I was such a young coach, which was kind of miraculous. Uh, it was, I think, shocked a lot of Georgia people because they were expecting some name coach. Success came quickly for Dooley. In his third season, 1966, the Bulldogs won the Southeastern Conference Championship, the first of his six SEC titles. Dooley's most successful Bulldog team came in 1980. This is a team that's just been a gritty bunch, a very cohesive bunch, a fighting bunch, never say die bunch. If I had to take some guys with me uh, to Vietnam or Korea, I'd want those, those offensive linemen with me, I'll tell you. Those guys, those guys, of all the group we've ever had, I'd take them with me. That Bulldog offensive line, along with freshman running back Herschel Walker, helped Georgia win the national championship in January 1981. Dooley would coach the Bulldog football program through the 1988 season, finishing with a 201, 77, and 10 record, becoming just the ninth coach in NCAA Division I history to reach the 200 win mark. Dooley added the title of UGA Athletic Director starting in 1979, and under his watch, Bulldog teams won 23 national championships across a number of different sports. Dooley retired in 2004 after spending 25 years as head football coach and 25 as athletic director. But you go through a series of crises to stay in one place this long, so it was great that uh, we were able to do that and uh, raise a family in, uh, in one place, so we're very, it's very satisfying. Following his retirement, Dooley and his wife Barbara stayed in Athens, and he dove into his passion. One being his garden, and another Civil War history. He wrote books on both topics. UGA honored Dooley with a statue on campus, and in 2019, they named the field at Sanford Stadium after him. I was happy that it happened. I thought it, uh, I thought eventually it might happen. Uh, when I came, the stadium was less than 43,000. When I left, it was just less than 93,000. So there were 50,000 seats added uh, during the course of, of my time here as both football coach and athletic director. And I hope that uh, they'll say that he did a good job and did it, tried to do it in the right way. Vince Dooley. Tiger turned damn good dog. Cody Chapins, Fox 5 News. Well, this huge loss for Bulldog Nation left many expressing their sadness on social media. 
Here's how some memorable names are remembering Vince Dooley tonight. Reaction to Vince Dooley's passing was swift on social media. Former UGA players like David Pollack calling it absolutely heartbreaking. He writes on Twitter, he was one of the kindest people I have ever met. The world was a better place with Vince here, but I know he is in a better place. Benjamin Watson posting a photo of himself with Coach Dooley saying, he was and is everything that we love about Georgia football. Former quarterback Aaron Murray says, I just saw Coach Dooley two weeks ago, did not think that would be the last time. He goes on to call him an incredible coach and man. Head coach Kirby Smart, who shared that special embrace with Coach Dooley after the national championship writes, our family is heartbroken by the death of Coach Dooley. He was one of a kind with unmatched love for UGA. He and Barbara embraced my family from day one. He will be missed in our community, university, and in college athletics.